dear students hello and welcome to my class i think you all are fine by the grace of almighty allah this is lavon sharkar i am also fine dear students today i am going to take the first class on chapter 8 from your bangladesh and global studies book i think you know all the name of the chapter is registers in bangladesh dear students before the start of our today's class i would like to show some pictures This is the first picture and this is the picture and, and here we can see the black films uh, of factory, okay? Now I am going to show you the second picture and this is the picture of the wildfire and now I am going to show you the third and last picture and this is the picture and here we can see the ice is melting. Dear students, I think you have guessed the topic of our today's class. Yes, uh, the topic of our today's class is global warming. Dear students, before the start of the main part of our today's class, I would like to show our today's learning outcome. After the class, you will be able to say about global warming. Then you will be able to describe the causes of global warming and at, at last you will be able to describe the consequences of global warming in Bangladesh. Dear students, let's get started of our today's class. At first I am going to discuss about some key terms to understand global warming that will help mm -hmm. us to understand our today's class. The first term is environment. So what is called environment, basically what we can see around us is called environment. But environment has its own definition. Now I am going to see you uh, the definition. This is the definition. The circumstances, objects or conditions by which one is surrounded is called environment. Dear students, this is the picture of an environment of a place. Dear students, now I am going to discuss about another term that is ecosystem. So what is called ecosystem? Basically ecosystem is a large uh, community of li living organisms in a particular area. This is the definition. Dear students, now I am going to show you a picture of an ecosystem of a place. Dear students, now I am going to discuss about next term that is Greenhouse. So what is called greenhouse? Basically greenhouse is such, uh, such type of house which is uh, made of transparent glass uh, to grow crops uh, in cold countries. Okay, so this is called greenhouse. Now I am going to show you the definition of greenhouse. This is the definition of greenhouse. A greenhouse is a structure of, with walls and roof made cheaply of transparent material such as glass in which plants requiring regulated climate condition are grown. So this is the definition of greenhouse. Dear students, this is the picture uh, of greenhouse. So that's all about some terms uh, that are very, very useful to understand our today's class. Dear students, now I am going to discuss about global warming. Before the start to discuss about global warming, I would like to share one thing with you, that is, the global warming has become the global issue at present world. The, the global warming is not an issue of, of a nation, the global warming is not an issue for a few nations, okay? Because due to the global warming, all of the countries of the world are, are being affected, okay? So what is called global warming, basically, uh, global warming means the increase in the Earth's average temperature gradually due to some natural and man-made causes. So this is the definition of global warming. Dear students, now I am going to show you two definitions of global warming. The first definition of global warming is global warming is the unusually rapid increase in Earth's average temperature, uh, surface temperature over the first century Primary, uh, primarily due to the greenhouse gases released as people burn fossil fuel. Dear students, 
Now I am going to show you the second definition of global warming. This is the second definition of global warming. The global warming means the increase in the Earth's average temperature caused by the presence of greenhouse gases in the atmosphere which causes changes in climate pattern, uh, patterns across the globe. Dear students, these two definitions are highly important and highly pragmatic uh, definitions uh, of global warming and you can write down these two definitions when you will write down uh, any, any question regarding global warming. Definitely you will get very good marks in your examination. Dear students, now I am going to discuss about the causes of global warming. Okay, so the first cause of the global warming uh, is the increase of greenhouse gases. So dear students, at first you have to understand what is called greenhouse gas. Basically greenhouse gas or greenhouse gases are some minor gases, uh, gases that, that uh, uh, that increase the temperature uh, of the atmosphere. Okay, now I am going to show you the definition of greenhouse gases. This is the definition of greenhouse gases. The greenhouse gas is a gas that absorbs and emits radiant energy within the thermal infrared rays. Yes, students. Now, types of uh, greenhouse gases. Basically, there are two types of greenhouse gases. Or is man-made uh, natural greenhouse gases. These are water vapor, carbon dioxide, me uh, methane, nitrous oxide, and ozone, etc. And next type of greenhouse gases are man-made greenhouse gases. These are CFC, that means chlorofluorocarbon. HCFC, that means hydrochlorofluorocarbon. The students, refrigerator. Uh, air condition spray are the sources of CFC uh, and ACFC gases. So that's all about the first cause of the global warming. Dear students, now I am going to discuss about the next cause of the global warming. That is the erosion of ozone layer. So dear students, at first you have to understand what is called ozone layer. Basically, ozone layer is one of the layer of our atmosphere uh, which absorbs most of the ultraviolet rays of the sun. Okay, dear students, I think you know all ultraviolet rays is not good for the human health. Okay, so now I am going to show you the definition of ozone layer. This is the definition of ozone layer. The ozone layer or ozone shield uh, is the reason of Earth's stratosphere that absorbs most of the sun's ultraviolet radiation. Okay, now I am going to show you a picture of ozone layer. This is the picture of ozone layer. Okay, that's all about the second cause of the global warming. Dear students, now I am going to discuss about the next cause of global warming. That is <clears throat> black films of factories. So this is the picture and here we can see of uh, uh, black films uh, of factories, dear students. And due to the increase of factories in different countries of the world, uh, the, uh, uh, a huge amount of black films uh, uh, is being mixed with our atmosphere. So the rate of the carbon dioxide gas, gas is uh, being increased day by day. So black films of factories uh, is one of the causes of global warming. Dear students, now I am going to discuss about the next cause. That is waste ditches in the sea and exhaustions of black films. This is the picture. Okay, so dear students, uh, uh, in in sea we can see the sea vehicles uh, discharges uh, uh, their uh, waste uh, in the sea and. Uh, a, uh, and they emit a huge amount of black hems in the sky of the sea. Okay, so the rate of the carbon dioxide uh, is being increased day by day, and this is one of the causes of global warming. Dear students, now I am going to discuss about the next cause that is deforestation. So, at first, you have to understand what is called deforestation. Basically, deforestation is the process to make the forest into 
desert okay so due to some natural causes due to some magnet causes the uh, the area of, of forest of the world is being reduced day by day dear students uh, i think in the world trees uh, absorb carbon dioxide what uh, we uh, what we features okay so <clears throat> the lack of forest the lack of trees yeah, is one of the causes of global warming dear students now i am going to discuss about the next cause that is increasing vehicles dear student due to the meet of the demand of increasing population in urban areas the number of vehicles uh, is being increased day by day and uh, 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 this huge amount of vehicles uh, em emit a huge amount of carbon dioxide gas in our atmosphere mm -hmm. so the rate of the carbon dioxide gas is being increased day by day so uh, increasing vehicle is one of the causes of global warming yes yeah, students now i am going to discuss about the next cause of the global warming that is use of pesticide and fertilizer in agricultural plant dear yeah, students this is the picture and here we can see a farmer is using pesticide in his land your students using pesticide using fertilizer in agriculture land are the causes of global warming your students that all of the causes of global warming and this topic is highly important for a periodic question dear students now i am going to discuss about the next topic that is things that will be happened due to global warming in bangladesh what the impacts of global warming in Bangladesh. So now I'm going to discuss about the first thing that will be happened due to global warming uh, in Bangladesh, that is inundation of coastal area. It is said that due to the global or global warming after few years, years the coastal areas of our country will be inundated. So this thing will be happened due to global warming in Bangladesh. Yes, students, now I am going to discuss about the next thing that will be happening due to global warming in Bangladesh. That is destruction of Sundarbon. Dear students, in our country, Sundarbon plays an important role to save us from different natural calamities and it works like the protector of our country. But it is said that due to the global warming, due to the the rise of the water sea, uh, our large portion of Shundurbon will be inundated. Okay, so this, the destruction of Shundurbon is uh, will be happened due to global warming in Bangladesh. Dear students, now I am going to discuss about the next thing that will be happened due to global warming in Bangladesh. That is increase of unemployment rate. Dear students. Due to the global warming, uh, the coastal areas uh, of our country will be inundated. So many people will be helpless, many people will lose their jobs, many people will uh, will lose their professions. Okay, so uh, these homeless people should come in town areas. So the un unemployment rate will be increased rapidly. So this will be happened due to global warming in Bangladesh. Dear students, now I am going to discuss about the next thing, uh, next impact of global warming in Bangladesh, that is infertility of land. Okay, dear students, due to uh, the, the rise of uh, seawater, uh, the land of the coastal area will be inundated. Okay, so the land of the coastal area will, uh, will lost their fertility. Okay, and this thing will be happened due to global warming in Bangladesh. Dear students, now I am going to discuss about the next thing that will be happened due to global warming in Bangladesh is the change of ecosystem. Dear students, I have already discussed about ecosystem. Basically, ecosystem is a large community of living organisms in a particular area. Due to global warming, uh, many ecosystem uh, many, uh, of many places of our country will be uh, destroyed. Okay, so this will be happened due to global warming in Bangladesh. 
dear students now i am going to discuss about the next thing that will be happening to global warming in bangladesh is increase of natural calamities so dear students at first you have to understand what is called natural calamity basically natural calamity is such a natural uh, 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 unusual natural un uh, the, the unusual behavior of nature that may cause of many harms and many deaths okay so this is called natural calamity dear students due to the global warming uh, cyclone or uh, tornadoes uh, flood tsunami uh, will be happened uh, frequently okay so this thing will be happened due to global warming in bangladesh dear students now i am going to discuss about the next thing that will be happening due to global warming in bangladesh is decrease of lifestyle dear student uh, 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 due to the global warming um, at the coastal areas of our country will be inundated so many people should come in town so the lifestyle of the common people will be decreased so this thing will be happening due to global warming in bangladesh dear students that's all about uh, the about uh, uh, that's all about the impacts of global warming in bangladesh and this topic is highly important for a creative question and so you have to give much attention on this topic okay so dear students now i am going to start the new part of our today's class that is the evaluation part here i am going to ask you some questions and you will try to give the right answers of this question though i will tell the right answer of this questions so dear students my first question is what is global warming so global warming means the increase in the earth's earth's uh, average temperature uh, gradually due to some natural due to some uh, man made causes okay so this is the answer uh, of this question so now i am going to ask you the next question that is what are the greenhouse gases basically greenhouse gases are some minor gases that uh, that uh, uh, get uh, get the temperature of the uh, of the earth increase uh, increase okay uh, like cfc like acfc like carbon dioxide gas methane nitrous uh, nitrous oxide etc so this is the answer of this question dear students now i am going to uh, ask you the next question that is what is the ozone layer basically ozone layer is one of the layer of our atmosphere that absorbs most of the ultraviolet rays of the sun dear students you know all ultraviolet rays is not good for the health and health so that's all about uh, this question dear students now i am going to ask you the next question that is what is the full form of cfc gas the full form of the cfc gas is chlorofluorocarbon okay and <clears throat> air condition spray refrigerator are the sources of uh, of this type of gas okay so this is the answer of this question the next question is what is called ecosystem basically ecosystem uh, is a large community of living organism in a particular area okay so this is the answer of this question so that's all about the evaluation part dear students now i am going to give you homework you have to write the causes and impacts of global warming in perspective of bangladesh uh, okay and you have to submit the answer of this question to your respective subject teacher after the open of your school dear students if you want to watch my more video classes you have to subscribe my youtube channel and the name of my youtube channel is lavon pcs tutorial dear students that's all about our today's class if you have any questions regarding our today's class you should feel free uh, uh, to put your questions in comment box and after the class i will try my level best to give the right answers of your questions so dear students thank you very much for watching me with your kind patience 
next time see you again till then allah hafiz